I'm Molly Miller, um, uh, professor of geology at Vanderbilt University. And the three of us here put together a proposal to figure out what it was like in these Allen Hills, 270 to 240 million years ago. Each one of us took a different aspect of life and environments at, to at, at the time and we had questions that we wanted to ask. My part of this team is to look at the rocks and figure out the physical aspects, the physical processes that were occurring as the rocks were depositing. And so I'm really trying to figure out what the landscape looked like during this time frame uh, back in the Permian and earliest most Triassic. Well, this is a very remarkable place that we're sitting here looking at uh, that, that is recording individual slices of geologic time. One of the things that we're trying to do here is to understand the physical processes that are going on at the time that individual layers were formed. And so we're looking at the rocks and we're looking at structures in the rocks and they tell us of the physics of the fluids that were moving across the landscape at, at that particular instant in time. And it's more than just looking at that, it's also looking at the fossils in the rocks and the rocks that are made up in this particular area of accumulation of plant material. And if you look around at the hillside around us, you'll notice that there are a number of large black bands. These represent coals. The coal represents the accumulation of plant matter over thousands and thousands, even tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of years. Let's pretend we 
this is a very large piece of uh, silicified wood that we just found. Lots of this stuff around this area. They're from the species Glossopterus. Glossopterus was a tree that liked living in water. And some of these stumps are quite large. This one's almost a half a meter across. Uh, some of the stumps are up to seven meters long that we've seen, so some huge, huge trees were growing in this, this uh, region. Major climate change has occurred to allow these huge trees to grow, and the surface that we're on has all kinds of very large tree trunks that are laying down, oriented, parallel to each other, probably due to flowing water. Okay, so these are the rock boxes filled with all our samples, packing them up.